This video was made possible by EA Creator Network. In today's video, I'm going to take you on a tour of my edited version of the Patio Perfection house template. So here is the original house template. This template was added in the latest Sims Free Play update. When I was taking a tour of this house, I said in my video that I thought the upstairs would work better as just one bedroom rather than having like this random room here so that's what I have done with my edited version so it's now a one bedroom house it still has the patio features obviously because it is the patio perfection house so I didn't really want to change that part of it apart from it having a patio still and most of the rooms being the same sort of layout it does look like a completely different house now I decided to go for black windows instead of the lovely chalet ones mainly because in the early access version which is the build that I've created this on the chalet windows weren't available in build mode so I could only use the ones I had I couldn't add any more of them as I wanted to add more I decided to just change them completely rather than having a lot of different windows in this house Inside the house you can see the layout is the same as it was before. All the rooms are in the same place, I've just changed them up a bit. I haven't really changed the kitchen that much. The only things I've changed are the wallpaper and flooring and instead of the picture frames on the walls I've added a different decorative artwork. But I thought the kitchen looked fine actually, I didn't really think it needed changing so I left that as it was. I have changed pretty much everything else though in this house. So this is the dining room. If you remember before it had the dining room and then it had like, the toilet in this random little area here. I thought it worked better as like a seating area with lots of light coming through those large windows. And as it's now a one bedroom house, I thought it didn't really need that extra toilet anyway. Next door we have the living room. I know I said I changed everything else apart from the kitchen, but actually I didn't change a lot of this room either. I added the guitar, I changed the picture on the wall, and I believe I added the rug, changed the wallpaper and the flooring but everything else I left as it was. I do really like those sofas and I thought that the rest of the decor actually went quite well with them already. Let's take a look upstairs now. So the landing areas up here are the same. I've just added some more items to them and obviously changed the walls and flooring. This one still leads to the balcony. I did add that leopard from the Maximalist Living Live event. Not sure why because I actually find it hideous but oh well. Let's take a look at the bathroom now. So the bathroom has that glorious art deco sink and mirror and I added the bath to match. Unfortunately there wasn't a toilet to go with it but that one sort of goes Across the corridor we have the master bedroom, so the only bedroom in the house. I think it looks so much better as one whole bedroom. This bedroom now has access to the balcony. We don't have that random like corridor, not really a room, room going on anymore. Please ignore the fact that they're all shoe cabinets and pretend there's some clothes in there. They were the only cabinets that I could find in the preview build. Don't know where all the other ones have gone. So the large balcony has the outdoor cinema TV screen on it, which I really love, but I rarely get to use. That was the prize if you managed to complete the Strange Things in Sim Town Discovery Quest in the time limit. And the front balcony just has like a Zen bench on it, a nice fountain, just a nice place to relax and get rid of those stresses. I'm quite happy with how this house has turned out. I did want to make it a bit more quirky with a few of the stranger items, but it's not really my thing, so it probably doesn't really come across very well. 
but the point of this video is to give you some inspiration to turn the pre-made house templates into your own amazing builds without the cost of building all the rooms individually. Let's finish up by taking a look at this house from above. Gives you some idea of the layout if you wanted to build it yourself. But like I said, it is the Patio Perfection house template that is available with the latest version of The Sims Freeplay. It will be available forever, so you don't need to rush to build it now. And that was my edited Patio Perfection house tour. If you enjoyed this video, please like it and please subscribe to my channel. I regularly post Sims Freeplay videos. I also have a blog, thegoems.blog, and on there you can find loads of posts about the Sims Freeplay. Thanks for watching. Bye!